All right, so this is how you install the schema into WordPress websites. So we use a plugin called the Header Footer Code Manager by 99Robots. We've tested all kinds of these type of systems and plugins, and this is the one that we found the best with the most flexibility that we need in order to stall, install the right schema in the right areas. So when you go to header footer code manager, this is all of them that I have on my main site. We have 342, probably close to, I don't know, 320 different schemas on here. But we always typically start with the organization schema. So the organization schema or the site wide schema, as we call it, um, that is schema that goes on every single page on the website, except for you know, your privacy policies, your thank you pages, your stuff like that, your auxiliary pages don't get schema. And then as you go through and you start getting into the local business schema for your location pages, that also does not get the site-wide schema. So the way we do it at Saltera is we load the organization schema up first, minus all the exclude all the pages that we don't want it on. And then we let that we let Google come back and crawl that for about a week. And then we start loading up the service schema and then the local business schema and then the article schema. So it's a process for us to, you know, three or four different processes to make sure that Google understands what's happening rather than just loading up, you know, 40 new pages of schema and all of a sudden Google's going, Whoa, what the hell? So we've always taken a strategic approach and started with the site-wide and then get into the services and local business. So this is the site-wide organization schema. So um, it's pretty simple. It's obviously a snippet type. It's obviously a JavaScript. We want it site-wide and then we exclude specific pages. Okay. And this page list will grow. Like you said, as, as you put in the local business schema, you want to exclude the site-wide from that local business page because the local business schema and the organization schema has a lot of the a lot of the same type of stuff in it. So in order to not get duplication errors or some other errors you can get in Google Search Console, we just make sure that once we put the local business schema on a page, we exclude it from the site wide. Um, we also want everything in the header. We don't ever put it in the footer. We want to show it on all devices. We want to make sure it's active. Okay. so. This is my schema code. We typically minify it and minifying is pretty easy. You just take the code, you go to minifier.org. Um, let me see, minify, yeah, minifier.org. You paste the, um, the, the schema files that we gave you and it just compresses it into one line of code. So it makes it a little bit harder for people to take your schema, but it doesn't stop them from taking it obviously. So anyway, so this is the schema that is site-wide. And <clears throat> this is a schema that's updated quite often. I think we updated it back in December, which we'll probably do another update sometime this summer. Um, but this is all the schema for the site-wide, okay? So when you get done with the site-wide and you let it marinate, the one thing we do do is we do do different homepage schema. So it's the same schema that's on the organization or the site wide, except for citations. So a lot of people, if your map is pointing to your homepage and you only have one map, or maybe you have multiple maps, but your main map is pointed to your homepage. Well, we want those citations in same as. So we'll take those citations and put them into, you know, into the organization schema. We'll name it homepage schema. And then this is the schema, just like the organization. But like I said, the only difference is, is it now has a whole bunch of citations that we've built for our main location. OK, the reason you don't really want this on your site wide is because if you do have multiple locations, then it can cause a conflict, you know, especially when you're talking about the maps. So we definitely try to make sure that Google understands exactly which map is talking to which page, for instance. OK. So that's homepage schema. Then you get into the service schema. So it's just all you're doing is stacking. So you have organization or site wide, then you have service, and then you have service local. Okay, so this is one for my web design service. So I put it on specific pages. I put it on specific, you know, all the pages that I have out there for web design. I've got a couple different ones for different purposes. 
Um, you know, same type of thing. Okay, so we go in, here's, this, here's the minified version of that schema for that page. So now if I go and look at the web design pages, I'll have an organization site wide and then a service schema. So works out very, very well. And then we can get into categories. So categories, blog categories, like for web design, for instance, anytime that we blog and I select or somebody selects the web design category box, it automatically puts that web design schema on that article. So, so again, on the categories for web design, I'll have site-wide organization, and then I'll have service schema, and then I'll have the article schema once the article schema is written. Okay. And now you get, now you get into local business. So local business is, like I said, it's just like the site-wide schema, except for now it's localized. Okay. So we want it on one page. Typically, it's your your only page that you have for Web Design Tempe. If you have multiples like, you know, WordPress Design Tempe, stuff like that, and the schema is broad enough to put it on both things, totally fine. I tend to keep them pretty separate. Okay, that's why I've got so many schemas on my website. But same thing, you know, here's the schema, but now this one's localized. This one's more directed towards Tempe. It's a Tempe Web Design Service, local service schema and it works out very, very well. Okay, so one of the cool things about the way we stack schema is that we know that when Google hits a web page to crawl, we want Google to know and understand every single thing there is to know about that web page. So when you have a site-wide schema and then a service schema, you know, it gives Google a very different snapshot than it does if you just have a web design page with no schema. And same when you get into the local business side, you know, so web design, my Tempe web design page is specific to Tempe, specific to web design. And the schema is the same way. So it will have stuff in there about the organization because that's what, you know, it's, I'm an organization, I'm a company, I'm a local business when I'm talking local business pages. So one of the things that we always try to do is to make sure, depending on the domain name, we definitely want to make sure that we have the right schema on the right pages. Now, if you have an exact match domain name like, you know, webdesigntempe.com, then obviously you've trapped yourself and your site wide is probably going to be local business. That's the only time a site wide should be local business is if you have an exact match domain or you've trapped yourself to a location, depending on the domain name. So anyways, that's how we stack the schema. That's how we go through and do all this, you know, everything's on this, you know, whole process. We spend probably because of how critical it is, the installation of schema to make sure it's on the right page. <clears throat> we have multiple checks. So we have installers, then we have QC people to make sure the installers did the right schema on the right page. Then we track it all in Google Search Console. Google Search Console will be the first place that, you, that you'll be notified from if there's errors, if there's warnings, stuff like that. So we test every schema as we go. And then once we start stacking them, we test them again to make sure that there's no errors or omissions. But Google Search Console will still find stuff every, every so often. So the biggest thing is, is just take the time making sure that if you're you know, hyper focus. If you're working on a service schema and only for this service, then make sure that that kind of task gets completed before you move on to the next service. Don't confuse the two. So we have seen people actually hurt their website by putting the wrong service schema on the wrong service. So just pay attention, you know, let us know if you need any help. But the biggest thing is, is that the implementation of the schema is very strategic. It's not just throwing stuff against the wall and seeing what sticks. But let us know if you have any problems, challenges, or whatever, and we'll go from there. Thank you.